What's going on guys and gals? We are up here in an attic today and we are going to use the field piece SE480 to check the flame sensor on this gas furnace. I want to see how close it's going to be to what I've recorded it as in the past on other meters. So we're going to reach back there. We're going to pull off our little blue wire. We are going to set our meter setting to microamps, the funky U with the ABC there. We've got an alligator on our black lead that we're going to clip back there to our space terminal. And you see our furnace shut off because we didn't have proof of flame because I'm not hooked up here yet. And now we're going to take our red lead and hook it up to our blue wire here. And we'll turn the backlight on. Fieldpiece has always had a really nice blue backlight. And the really nice thing about this meter, they're leaving the backlight on for five minutes now. So kudos to Fieldpiece for doing that. They're listening to the technicians out in the field and we've been telling these companies for years to leave the backlight on for a longer period of time. 30 seconds is just ridiculous. You can't do anything in 30 seconds. And field piece used to be one of the better ones. They always left it on for a minute, but now it's five minutes. So that is a really nice feature on these newer meters. This is gonna be a very usable backlight if it stays on for five minutes. And looky there, we're running right there at 2.6. So I would say that's accurate. That was recorded with another meter that was probably an amp probe if I had to guess. And we're right on the money. So, that's looking good. The old 480 is definitely accurate on our microamps. So when I pull that out, the flames are gonna die. Because we've lost our proof of flame. Always make sure you hook that back up. Don't run off without doing that. You're gonna get a call back. nice thing about this meter you do have your dual display so we're in bolts and amps we hit select now we've activated our amp line up there on the top we're still doing bolts at the bottom so that comes in very handy especially when you're diagnosing heater kits like on a heat pump and you've got one of your heaters not on it's nice to be able to do amps and bolts both at the same time that feature kind of spoils you once you've had a dual display meter but now we've got our amps so we can just take amps on whatever we want here and there's our line voltage coming in we've got 4.98 five or so and then if we hit that select button one more time that's going to switch us over to hertz through the clamp now this meter doesn't do hertz through the test leads. The 680 will do hertz and duty through the test leads, but this meter will do hertz through the clamp. And you have to have somewhere between four and five amps to get that to register. If you've only got one or two amps, it's not gonna register anything. It'll just read zero, but you can see that we're running at 60 hertz because we're in the good old U.S. of A, or America, as some people like to call it, who are A-challenged. So, there's just one more little video testing out the SE480. 
from Field Piece, and it's definitely accurate on the microwamps. So, leave me a comment below, thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.